Montessori education is an education based on the belief that human beings have not yet reached their potential and that choices can be made that will help us realise this potential. It is a philosophy of hope and action. It is a pedagogy of love, a pedagogy of the extension of love for one's environment beyond the confines of family, culture, territory and species. In the first plane, the child is interested in the immediate environment and the mind can absorb everything if it is presented in an acceptable way. Every exercise and activity in our Montessori environment connects the intellect with movement. When they are taking care of the environment, these abilities are strengthened utterly. The environment is a fundamental source of knowledge for the young child. The child uses his senses to explore, get to know and adapt themselves to their new world of real possibilities. Every possibility is challenging and a step forward where the child, guided by their curiosity, spontaneity and inner power, is motivated to construct their personal characteristics through achievable goals and good models. In the first plane of development, the child builds his personality, which is an accumulation of biological characteristics with which it is born and which it absorbs through the environment around. The good start in the Montessori environment for young children is a combination of physical characteristics of the environment in terms of its order, aesthetic, harmony and beauty. Also, the sharing and caring between the adult and the child and every living being. The daily care of the environment is a lesson in generosity, presented to the child in the most natural way. Throughout the day we offer choices, gradually giving the child experiences that validate their self-construction. This individual validation lays the foundation for the development of the social being. At the age of three, when the child enters the casa, he is making the transition from being an unconscious creator to becoming a conscious worker. Only through freedom and environmental experience is it practically possible for human development to occur, said Dr Montessori. We create environments that allow the child to joyfully discover the world and their unique place in it. There is a calm, homely atmosphere. The children often work alone or in small groups. One of the goals of the work is to promote deep concentration. The dynamic that governs the preparation of the environment is the dynamic of building trust. Trust is built in an individual through mastery of self, mastery of the environment and common responsibilities. The rules we have in school that we create with the help of the children are not to be a list of do nots. They are actual actions that we can take that will promote a safe and positive learning environment. They are techniques that aid the children in acting well. Younger children are inspired by those who are a little older, while the older children affirm their knowledge and responsibilities by helping others. A natural spirit of cooperation and contribution is deepened and strengthened through daily experience. Children freely choose activities where skill and challenge are closely matched. This invites concentration in the child and creates a surprising harmony in the group. As skills develop, so too must the challenges, and numerous pathways are forged into our culture. Australia. The sensorial materials in the CASA are important for orienting and understanding the world. They are considered an extension of sensorial and language work. Sandpaper globe, puzzle maps, pin maps, flags, land and water forms and geography folders, simple science experiments related to the work of water and work of air, magnetism, animals and plants. Three to six year old children are interested in naming the world and this is language work because they are enriching their vocabulary. 
The children need language for growth of thought processes that build the organisational structures of the mind that interpret the environment of the senses. In elementary, we aid the child towards abstraction in the subject areas through a process that can be called guided reenactment. The materials are concretised abstractions, encapsulating essential threads of knowledge. Guided by us, the children can walk the same walk towards abstraction that our ancestors must have done, through experimentation, exploration, questioning and reasoning. In this way, the children can move through thousands of years of human endeavour in a very short time. The universe is presented to the child of this age, for the universe is an imposing reality and an answer of all questions. We give grandeur and mystery to fuel the tendency for exploration and abstraction and to feed the hungry intellect. Great lessons are to set the scene for the mind to begin to act. Storytelling of the truth is about truth in a dramatic, impressionistic way. It appeals to the mind of the elementary child because they ignite the sense of justice, daring, courage and adventure of this age group. We borrow the language of the myth and fairy tale to set the imagination on fire. The language we use to introduce great ideas is infused with metaphor, analogy, personification, mystery and grandeur. The child has moved into a new phase of life with a new focus of mind. The moral, social and intellectual abstract. The child must use his new powers of reason and imagination to continue development. Then we must be precise as we give details. The more precisely the details are given, the more likely it is that the child will connect the details together with each other and relate them to the whole. Yes, and you see the particles are linked together. What about this solid? Can you break it? We call this solid rigid, elastic. Oops, plastic. Why is it rigid? Can you show them why is it rigid? Key lessons take up the details item by item. Each gives new information, presents new material, shows another exercise in a progression which allows the mind to build up knowledge and to continue searching on its own for what it does not know. Key lessons involve isolating a difficulty and analysing complex concepts to be able to present simple, powerful and useful impressions. Key lessons provide repetition through variety. The children move freely between disciplines and discover the links between them. The children can explore cause and effect, look beyond the facade of things and discover how and why of the ways in which living and non-living things work. They build a sense of gratitude and respect for others and the world. Ability for compassion and empathy helps them to develop their moral awareness as well as help them function in society. The children are concerned with principles of justice and fairness and we help them discover that there are many forms that justice can take. Everyone helps everyone is the motto of the classroom. The environment is a rich and safe place to explore moral and intellectual concepts. Our classroom, with its friendly attitude towards error and our stress and cooperation and community, is a place where friendly teasing promotes strong social connections. The children take on the messages, many hands make light work. Everyone has something to learn from everyone else. As they care for one another, the children participate actively in the care of the environment. The children have a sense of ownership about the environment. They take good care of it, respect each other's work with material and participate in decision making about how the environment can be improved upon. The work atmosphere portrays more of a beehive than a workshop. The children work in groups 
talk about their work in many different places in the room. The children work in groups and talk about their work in many different places in the room. There is a lot of activity. All the seeds are sown in this period. All the seeds of culture must be sown. The Free Child acknowledges that many have contributed to his development. Each day we live, we create bonds with others, even with people we do not know. Our work aims to create environments that allow the child to joyfully discover the world and their unique place in it. To fulfil our purpose, we are led by Montessori principles and practice, following the training and guidance of the Association Montessori International. Learning to love, loving to learn.